Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kerry and today I am filming with my brand new camera. So if things are a bit weird, if things are a bit off, then I'm still learning. Um, I used to film on my phone, so this is the first time I'm filming with a camera. Please bear with me. We are going to be diving into the Colourpop Not A Box Of Chocolates palette that was sent to me by my gorgeous, lovely friend. Thank you so, so much. And she also sent me the C3PO palette and the Such A Flirt lip kit from Colourpop. So we're going to be using these today because I am not usually a neutral lover. If you've been on this channel before, you know I like bright Technicolor, but there was something about this palette and I, I, I can't put my finger on it and I can't really explain it, but there's something about the browns in this palette. So let's get into it. Okay, this is what the gorgeous colour story looks like and yes, fully neutral, fully brown. What is wrong with me? I actually don't know what is wrong with me. It just looks so, so nice. I can't wait to dive into this. I do do some neutral looks when I'm not filming, like I do do. I do a lot of bright colourful looks as well, but I do tend to reach for neutrals more when I'm not filming. But I thought, why not film this? There are so many neutral lovers out there, possibly that are subscribed to my channel. So this is a little treat for you neutral lovers to actually see me use brown eyeshadow instead of just constantly bright technical. I am going to prime with my Natasha Denona eye base and it is so strange actually being able to see what I'm filming, let me tell you. And what this also means is now I actually have a camera and I don't have to film on my phone and it stops filming after 20 minutes because I've run out of storage. It now means I can film my palette collection because that's going to take a real long time, like hours upon hours of me filming my palettes. So I'm going to get onto that as soon as I can and as soon as I've got to grips with this camera. Okay, so looking at this delicious palette, we do have some depth, we've got light shades and mid-tones, we've got a nice variety of shimmers. I haven't swatched this as I'm speaking to you now, but I feel like I'm definitely going to be doing something more dramatic with neutrals rather than just keeping it subtle. So I definitely think I want to start out with this deep shade here, which is called 90% I can't even read this properly, but it's this one here. Where are my brushes? Brushes. Okay, so I'm going to start packing that shade onto... Let me tap that off a little bit just so we don't get tons of fallout. But I'm going to start packing that onto the outer corner. <gasps> Delicious, deep pigment. Oh. I generally am impressed with Colourpop palettes. I wasn't impressed so much with the new Hocus Pocus colour pop because there was definitely a dud shade in that that I'm very upset about because that was one of the shades I was excited for in the palette. I do have a video on that if you're interested to see me using it and which one I'm talking about but generally colour pop I think they're a fantastic formula. I haven't tried too many palettes where I felt like that they're not good quality but so far this is going on beautifully and it's giving me all the depth that I want. Then I think I want to go into the shade Tiramisu and that's this one here. I actually really don't like the taste of Tiramisu, like at all. <laughs> I'm not a fan and I'm just going to pop that leading toward the inner corner. If you can hear anything in the background that's just my cat. He's my little filming buddy and he's quite happy sat on the floor near the radiator keeping warm and grooming himself. And I am just going to wrap that shade as well a little bit around that deeper brown that we had. Have I gone in with quite a bit of pigment here? Am I regretting my life choices? I will say I am a little bit more slapdash when it comes to neutral eye looks and shades just because brown and the way that they blend and blend out is usually extremely forgiving. Um, so as you can see, two shades, packed them on. This is how we're looking. I will work on the blend between the two shades, but for now I'm just blending out this pigment because I, I, I went in quite heavy here. And I'm just going back in with a little bit of that deeper brown just to top over the edge of where it ends and the other brown begins and just work on a blend between the two. Oh, my coffee. I, oh, why do I always forget my coffee? I'm just going over at the very edges of this brown just to diffuse it a little bit more. 
but we are looking super neutral and super bronzed. Then I think I'm going to go into the shade, what is this called? O Chip, which is this one here. These are so pigmented and they pick up a lot of product, I'm just warning you now. I am just going to focus this on the inner corner and then around the very edges of the brown. And I am just going to use the same shades and pack them on the lower lash line and blend them out until it's time to use the shimmers, which I am really excited for because I feel like they will transform this matte brown look. I'm not sure which shimmer I want to go in with, so I might just stick my finger into a few and swatch them. So there's a three here. They look pretty, but they're on the deeper side. So let's try the lighter ones. Oh, this one looks funky. Oh, and it feels a little bit more gritty. Yeah, they are. Mm. This one on my middle finger as well looks absolutely stunning. Now I'm not going to do a cut crease type of situation, I'm just going to plop on the shimmers that I want. So I feel like we might go from this one to this one to this one. So I'm going to start out with the lightest. I'm tr just picking this up on a refer brush. This is a refer 02 and I think I might spray it. I do like to spray my shades when I don't want fallout and I want them to be more opaque and go where I put them, not sprinkle all over my face. That is pretty. Then I'm going to flip my brush over and go into, oh no, I've gone into the darkest one now. So I'm just going to have to commit and go. <laughs> Look, it's already happened. So we're going into the deeper of the three shades that I showed you. And then I will go into the middle one to bridge them together. Just popping the middle one. Oh, ooh, that might be my favourite of the three. That shade is called Honeycomb Crunch. This is actually making me quite hungry using this palette. I could just eat a crunchy right about now. What is your favourite chocolate bar? Please let me know. This is the perfect video to ask that question because chocolate themed, you know? And I much prefer this chocolate themed palette to all of the like Too Faced ones and Makeup Revolution. Don't come for me. I'm back into some of the mattes just to tap over the edges of the shimmers just to make sure they are nice and blended and seamless but I feel like this has come together really nicely and I feel like if you do a nice neutral eye like this less people will look at you weird in public if you pair it with a bright lip like I don't care I will do a bright eye look and a bright lip but for a lot of people they don't like to do both so maybe we should go for a brighter lip today. And I'm going to pack that lightest shade Onto the oof in a corner, man. Wow, that looks pretty. Drag it a little bit onto the lower lash line. Look, it's nearly Christmas, we need as much sparkle as possible. Okay, let me finish up the rest of this look and then we'll come back and use some of these lip liners. Well, not some of them, probably one of them, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Okay guys, so this is how we're looking right now. I have stuck some lashes on. These are the Michaela Part 2 and Glam Light Lashes in Daydreamer. Not my favourite because they're a little bit more subtle and I had a bit of issue with the lash band, so we're not going to talk about the lashes. I did go in my waterline with the, is this the Revolution Pro Influence Overnight Pencil and it's the pink one because I'm planning on using this gorgeous pink lip liner from the Such A Flirt set from Colourpop and it looks absolutely gorgeous. And like I said, I wanted to go with a bright lip if we're doing a neutral eye and I just feel like a little bit of pink in the waterline will tie in nicely with the lip. If you're wondering anything else that I've used on my face today it will be linked in the description box but let's come in with this lip liner. Now, I did not have an abundance of lip liners so now I'm very happy to add these to my collection. Okay it feels very precise. And it's not too scratchy and stabby like some others that I tried fairly recently. Why am I so bad at lining my lips? Like, I'll do all the cut creases in the world, but lining my lips, difficult. Um, and then I have this massive thing of lippy sticks that I've had for quite a while now. And I'm going to use one of the colours from this. And I think I'm going to go for the bright pink one. What is this called? This is called Are You Surreal? Now questioning my life choices. 
Okay, this one's a very, very matte one. Some of the others that I've got in here are more of a glossy satiny formula, but this is an extremely matte one, so it was quite difficult to pull across my lips at times. So I'm really glad that I had the lip liner to be a lot more precise, but I feel like those colours went together well. So guys, this is the finished look overall. Please let me know what you think. It's not my typical thing that I film on YouTube, but I'm really happy with how this came out. I did enjoy this palette as much as I thought I was going to. I've been umming and ahhing since I saw it released and I just, I don't know what I can say because yeah, I don't normally lust over neutral palettes, especially when they're fully neutral and this is fully, fully neutral. I mean, come on, it's, it's not a box of chocolates. I feel like from the shades that I use today, they are super pigmented. Like these, these browns aren't playing. They are pigmented. I had to tap off my brush. I mean, the pigment was there. They are blendable. They are beautiful. They feel like good, good quality shadows. The shimmers I was really impressed with. Picked up easily on a brush the shades that I used and I did make sure I sprayed them just so there's no fallout and a little bit more opaque. But I'm really impressed with this palette and I feel like now I've got this, I don't really need another neutral palette. Like before, if I was reaching for neutrals, it was probably going to be Luna Beauty. And to be honest, I, if I just want to stick on a neutral eye look, especially a quick one, this is so easy. And if you are a neutral lover or you just need a neutral palette in your collection, I don't think this price point will break the bank, especially if you're in the US. If you're in the UK, the shipping is a little bit more expensive, but I really, really like the formula of this. I do like Colourpop in general love the packaging of this and I am impressed with the lip liner that I tried from this set. I can't wait to try the other shades and not constantly use the MUA lip liner in TLC for the rest of my days. So this is what the look looks like a bit closer and it's just a nice neutral look and I feel kind of cute in it. I might stick on a jumper though when I have to go on the school run because it's a bit chilly outside now in the UK but thank you so much for joining me for this video guys. Hopefully this footage is okay and the colour settings and the sound and everything. Please let me know what you think to my new camera in the comments. Is there any suggestions that you can make? I can't promise anything because if you ask me to change something I, I will have to research how to change that. I am not the best with camera technology I'll be honest. But if you're not subscribed, please do if you like palette collections because now I have this camera, like I say, that palette collection is going to have to be coming very, very soon. I, I need to do it because I need to do a slight declutter in it and make some more room in my collection. But I'd be really interested to know if you prefer neutrals or colours and hopefully guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!